Hello again, Bear fans. We're here with Schlitz Gusto. This is made by my paps. It's a um, reformulation of what well, it's supposed to be exactly like Schlitz's old um, formula. It's an American adjunct lager and an attractive can bottle, I should say. As you can see immediately, we have our typical adjunct. Nice go, maybe a little darker than you're used to for an adjunct, but not much. And slight head, that's gonna go away fairly fast. Now, currently this is selling for $6. And having just reviewed Coors Banquet, um, which is also $6, let me just say, I am, this that will be the standard because I think that's the best of the major adjuncts. And this is a lot better. More multi flavor. Slight. They always advertise the kiss of hops, and that's certainly there. Very sweet. No real off taste. Highly drinkable. For the style, this is the best I've ever had. Uh, I've thought this one I've had a couple bars. I finally found a six pack so I could review it. Um, but this is the best of the style of the American adjunct style. Now that's, you know, as, as you might say, take that for what it's worth. Because again, this is not going to be one of the best beers you're going to drink. But for $6, this is pretty good. Probably not as good as Yinling, but it's pretty good. So let's talk about Schlitz. Um, this is being brought back by Pat's. Pat's owns the Schlitz brand. And they brought back the original formula. Now Schlitz has been from the 60s at least. The formula from the 60s. Beer makers typically went through lots of formulas before I guess we would say it was standardized. Um, and prior to the 60s, um, Schlitz was the number one beer in America. Over time, I would assume that um, Budweiser became more popular as people began to prepare um, even less tasting beer, tasteful beers. While this doesn't have a lot of taste, it has more flavor than Bud. Bud is on a different scale as far as smoothness. Um, you can taste that they're maybe using some corn or something in there. Not much. So there's probably some rice in there or something, but regardless. So this was the top beer in America and never less than two. Um, then they cheapened the formula. Many of you have probably read about that. Um, I had a different sugar, I believe. Um, so they could brew it quicker and they ended up, it ended up spoiling, tasting weird and spoiling faster. They, um, changed it from that, not back to the original, but from that. But after that kind of, um, I guess you could say, um, fiasco, their brand had, they, they basically killed their brand by cheapening over time the, the quality and so Schlitz became associated with junk as opposed to what we have here. A pleasant to drink beer. There still is evidently Schlitz from the 70s or 80s formula. I don't know. So it. I've never seen it. I, if I ever do, I'll pick it up. It's sold in cans and things, but... This has been brought back by Pat's at the right price point, $6, where it should be. And I think it may find a home um, because I think, you know, it should be one of the top macros in, in, in America. It, um, that's its rightful place. Because for that style, again, not the best style, and it's going to have to find something in that mar market. Well, for that style, this is, this is, in my opinion, the best. Um, a really nice, drinkable beer. 
It goes down easy. Now, the issues with it, slightly more taste than, than, than say, Bud, or even Coors Banquet, and um, a little bit more of a bite to it, um, as far as that goes, so it may not be for everybody. Um, and if you're a craft brew fan, as they used to advertise, a kiss of hops means not much hop flavor, right? So it's got, there's a little hop, but not much. And so if you're a hop head like me, this is not going to please you. But if you want something to kind of just chill to, this should do it. And, and, and so for with all those caveats, that obviously this is not as good as a lot of craft brews. This is not a very great tasting beer. All those caveats aside, this is good. Um, I like it, and um, and I may buy it again if I if I want something that to kind of you know pound or session beer. This might be a choice. Um, you know the only choices in my mind for that are currently Guinness, which is the best. Um, yeah, but a little more expensive Yinling, and I would say this. Um, so again, it, now if you're if you're a hard craft brew fan and you and you turn up your nose at the macros, I understand that, um, and I would suggest you stay away from this if that's um, how you feel. If you are a um, at all into the macros at all into the adjuncts, um, this is one to get. And that, that would be where I would put it. Anyway, that's all I got. See ya.